And first tonight at five, a million dollar demolition project started today on the Berkman Plaza 2 building. Now that building is expected to be completely demolished in about three months. And some neighbors say they are so relieved. On your side's Brianna Ray Turner was there at the start of the operation and tells us what neighbors are saying. Neighbors couldn't believe they actually saw debris falling off the Berkman Plaza 2 building. For years, one neighbor said she couldn't wait until this vacant building was gone, and her dream has finally came true. After years of the vacant Berkman Plaza 2 building standing, its time has finally come to an end. Just to see the first rock crush to me was a very humble experience and I'm just so excited. Peace of mind started their demolition project piece by piece, top to bottom, creating low dust particles. They they made sure that they didn't want to pee with uh, Berkman one. Uh, you look at the noise factor right now, everything is done to protect the city. I talked with Heather Adams, who lives on the 20th floor in Berkman Plaza one and her apartment faces the Berkman Plaza two building a view. She says she doesn't look forward to. So I look absolutely at it every day, and so I can't wait to have that not be there. I'll be actually able to see the stadium better. A few months ago, Adams says the developers of Berkman Plaza two had a meeting with the neighbors at Berkman Plaza one to talk about the plans and about what was going to happen with demolition, which I thought was really upfront. They really gave us a lot of information. Information. KBJ Architects showed me the future designs for the new and improved plan for the Berkman Plaza 2 building. The new structure would cost over a hundred million dollars. That will have approximately, at this point, at least 300 residential units or a mix of residential and hotel units. And we are negotiating uh, with a number of uh, specialty grocery operations. There are big plans after this vacant building is gone and City Councilman Reggie Gaffney says he's just asking the community to be patient. And Jacksonville, Brown Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side.